Okay, Chris, I think you're gonna be a great assistant. Your paperwork appears to be in order, but before we get started, do you own a pair of rubber boots that you'd have to wear if you worked on a fishing boat? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, I guess it'll be a light day today, but tomorrow you should come wearing those. Okay, got it. Now, the first thing I need you to do every morning is punch me in the stomach because I'm a bad person. Is this a trick? It's the furthest thing from a trick. Go ahead. And it should be pretty hard. I'm a worse person than you think. <gasps> okay, that's really good. Now I need you to call Time Warner about my cable bill. All right, this one is for all the mommies out there. This is what we're really saying when we're crying. Please put some butt paste on my button. Butt paste on my button. Smear it on my button for the fire down below. Oh, butt paste on my button. Butt paste on my button. Need it on my button because it cools and quells me so. Stay away, stay away from the big kid in the baby swing. There's a little metal box at the top of the stairs in the back of the closet and a tiny little key that's hidden in the book in the drawer with the socks and I know how to use it to open up the box and that's where the gun is You know, I talk a lot of smack but at the end of the day, these guys are pros even broken arm coyote with washboard Hey, let's keep this party rolling. I'll go get us another badly scratched plastic pitcher of soda. Ugh, finally, he's doing something useful. What? What do you mean? Nothing. It's just, you write all the songs, you've got a better voice, you've got the sweet bond. Oh, my God, babe. Plus, you've got all the cool catchphrases like, damn you all, or what the dude, or whatever. Uh, it's, it's deuce, but uh, but yeah, you're, you're right. It, I, I do. Does it, does it sound through the mic like I'm saying dude? Should it be dude? Meanwhile, everyone thinks Brian is the star of the group. Who thinks that? I don't know. I'm just saying, after every show, the fans are always petting Brian and not you. No one's allowed to pet me. It's illegal. I just hate to see Brian getting all the attention that you deserve. You should really watch your back. Oh, it's hard to believe Brian would betray me. I mean, he was there for me when I hit rock bottom. <laughs> see, Brian? That's a rock bottom. Thanks for being here for that. Now get out of here. We're about to drink some Chardonnay. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> Check, check, Malia, check, Obama, check, 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 Malia, Obama. All right, that's a creepy mic check. Let's just do a quick run-through of Little Brother. I want a little brother on second thought. I think I'd kill him dead. Can we just cut Brian's mic? His humming sounds like my table's ready at Chili's. Stewie, what the hell is your problem? I'll tell you what my problem is. I'm doing all the work and you're just riding my coattails. What are you talking about? I'm just as big a part of this group as you are. Oh, really? You're writing about all your authentic baby experiences? You asked me to do this with you. Why are you being such a dick? Because I lost the baby! What was that? I don't know. He saw that in a movie or something. Brian, this seems as good a time as any. I think it's time to talk about your future with the band. Are you serious? You're actually kicking me out of the band? Not at all. In fact, I think you and I should kick Stewie out. And I'll take his place. What? Bring out the snakes! Does he just come to all of our shows? So, you want to fire Stewie and be red shirt, blue shirt with me? Absolutely. You're the whole reason the fans even like the band. Kids love dogs. Besides, we've both seen what Stewie's become. An impossible diva. Yeah, but he's my friend. Yeah, well, your friend has been talking about kicking you out of the band. Wait, what? He has? And I don't know if you considered this, but the clock is ticking on Stewie's cuteness. Huh. I guess you're right. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up looking like an exact mashup of Lois and Peter. <laughs> Groceries. Hey, I had a thought about our costumes for today's show. I could wear a shirt that's both red and blue, and you could do spin art with all the wussy kids who are afraid to go on rides. Yeah? Well, how about this, Stewie? You're fired. 
Pardon? That's right. Olivia's taking your place in the band. You are looking at the new red shirt, blue shirt. What the dude? Uh, you know what? Deuce was right. Come on, Brian. You and I should probably rehearse. We've got a show in 20 minutes. Fine, go ahead. It's not gonna be the same. Like, Cheers wasn't the same when they brought in Kirstie Alley. Norm! No, I'm... I'm Rebecca. Meg, do you know how to use Microsoft Excel? Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Yeah, you would, dork. But I don't need to make that spreadsheet or I'm fired. Oh, my God. Peter, our dishwasher is full of sex toys. Oh, yeah, Chris put those in there. It's for his job. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that. He also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? And you knew about this? How could you let him do this disgusting stuff? What? You don't want to want Chris to get a job. Yeah, like mowing lawns or trimming bushes. Oh, well, he's doing one of those. That's it. I'm calling Quagmire right now and putting an end to this. You have reached Glenn Quagmire. Neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. Daddy says, please. Mommy says, no. Daddy says, come on. Mommy says, whoa. Daddy goes, uh. Mommy goes, ow. Daddy says, I'm done. Mommy goes, wow. Daddy, Daddy rolls over and falls asleep. Mommy drinks wine in the dark. Thank you, Quahog. That was great. They loved us. Yeah, I guess, but did you see what I saw? That kid with the cane? Yeah, what do you think is wrong with him? No, Stewie was out there. So? So, we're singing a song he wrote. This whole thing was his idea. Brian, don't mess this up. We've got a good thing going. I, I hate to tell you this, but I'm afraid red shirt, blue shirt is done. I can't do this. I'm out. I don't care. I don't need you. I can get a hundred dogs to fit that stupid blue shirt. You're a monster. Like Frankenstein when he became a loan officer. So, I'm looking for money to open a small business. We plan to sell antique lamps. Oh. Handmade blankets. Oh. And pitchforks. Yeah! <laughs> We need to talk. What, are you walking a horse? Did Quagmire get a horse? Oh, no, here we go. I want a horse! Peter, it's not a horse. Chris, what the hell is that? Oh, this is Mr. Quagmire's horse gimp. What is a horse gimp? It's a sexual fetishist who derives erotic pleasure from dressing in horse-themed leather gear. <laughs> Want to see me feed him a carrot? Absolutely not. Hell yes. Chris, this is no job for a teenage boy. You have to quit right now. I can't quit. I'm actually good at this job. Plus, I'm making decent money. You could work at the pharmacy. Quiet, Triscuit. Oh, hook me to the plow. Chris, I have $1,100 in a paint can in the garage. Just take that and we'll never speak of this again. Okay. Great. Now let's all go home. Well, that's what I get for horsing around. Ah, your joke wasn't funny enough. Stewie? Oh, hello, Brian. I'm here to apologize and to let you know I quit the band. You did? Yes. It's nothing without you. You were the band. Those were your songs. And I'm sorry if I let Olivia manipulate me. <sighs> I guess she manipulated both of us. There's just something about her flat chest and muscular legs. Look, I never should have treated you the way I did. I suppose I didn't treat you so well either. So what do you say? Can we put this all behind us and go back to the way things were? Of course we can. Hey, I wonder if she's going to keep the band going. Probably. She told me she was just going to replace me with another dog. Yes, but who? I don't know. Probably some dog neither you or I have ever met. All right, listen up, you little pieces of garbage. This song's about getting heartburn from baked clams and other kids' stuff. <laughs>